Good morning to you, sir. Wait. Hello. Sir, good morning. Hey, forgive me. I'm sorry there. Mister... Oh, you're still down there? Yes, I'm still down here, because nobody will help me. Will you do something, please?
Nice to see you again, partner. Whoa, now! I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you could always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see no, I'll make it for his own the good. Chains. Oh, no! Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, you, you I'm sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Good morning to you. Hang on one minute there. Hold it right there. Yep. Yep.
Hey, boy. Yeah. Good girl.
got the snake you back, Fanny? <laughs> again? I got again. <laughs> it's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. <laughs> uh, can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. <laughs> Never again. Uh, oh, I owe you so much, mister. Uh, can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I better be back around. Uh, gonna... Uh, uh, stiff one tonight. Uh. Let's go, girl. Yep. Stay here, boy.
okay, girl. Hello, mister. Hello there. Ah. Maybe. Who is this Biden, I wonder?
Easy does it. Oh, easy. Whoa, okay. Okay. No, oh, now I'm fishing. Got some. Look at you.
sucker.
How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, Better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers. In an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that. But come on. It looks to be a nice day ahead. Hosea knows a good fishing spot. If we leave now, well, we'll catch the early biters. Come on.
come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst. Well, hello. Come on, Arthur. I think you're going the wrong way. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Let's go, come on. Boy. Passion you. Go on. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa! Hello, gentlemen. Well, look yeah. what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Shit. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. K. 
Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh, uh, Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke! Ah. Ah. Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Hurry, get alongside it. Now he's throwing bottles, the low-down bastard. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Uh, you cop bastard! Uh, I didn't do nothing! Uh, uh, you bastard! Get the girl off! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, mount up. Take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. 
Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. I know it. Chop, chop, don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Just bring them here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's... And Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like... We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Welcome back, sir. 
Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Now, let me see. And there was me with my hopes up. Thank you for your help. Ah, welcome back, sir. Run up the tab now, have we? Thanks for your assistance. Okay, fella. Hey, mister. How do you do, sir? Hi, ma'am. Hey, there. Hey. hey. Good morning to you. Don't think this day can get much worse. Nice to see you, ladies. Hello. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Morning, mister. Mister, we've had quite enough of your kind here. Just minding my own business, I promise you. How you doing? your luck. Uh, you, oh, mister, excuse me. Farm hello. Always has a Why, hello there, That's sir. beautiful to listen to. My patrons tell me little Samuel's been going to it. Thank you. Really. Never How can I help you? That's good. Give me a beer. Hello, friend. I don't mean to pry, but, uh, well, you look like something of rough and tumble type. Perhaps somewhat acquainted with the more, uh, colorful elements, if you don't mind me saying. I wonder if perhaps you might have heard anything uh, unsavory about this here establishment of, of recent. A anything r related to violence? talking about, fella? Oh, ne never mind. No, 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 no. Just curious. <laughs> Someone told me about a rumor of raiders fighting. Uh, well, it ain't true anyway. You, you never mind me.
Here's your whiskey. Cars are still unkind. I've been waiting on that winning streak for some time. <laughs> sure, that's how it goes. Well, must have gone. Well, I'm, I'm here if you need me. Hey, folks. Sir, good morning. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Mm-hmm. Hot today, ain't it? It's simply heavenly. Anyway, good luck to you. Bye now. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. 
Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Yeah! Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the other stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. These damn oh. flies. This must have I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once mm -hmm. in a while. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. 
We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lamont State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, hey, not so fast! Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. E Easy! We ain't in that much of a hurry. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Another one by the still.
the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... by me.
I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? <gasps>
Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Ha! Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my way. Set, go! Hey! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Yeah.
never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain! Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand, Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. Oh, I ain't no skull yet, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Bastard. Now get my hands. Oh, 
Okay. Here we are. Shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. We don't need any more trouble from over here. Howdy. Hey, mister. Ah. Hey there. Nothing. What do you mean hey nothing? Hello. What's in the park? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm working. What is taking you so long? Oh, lady, I got it all in this wagon, man. I could train my goat to do this faster. Hey, partner. Well, look at you. I don't reckon you're gonna remember much of this. Hi, uh, folks. Why, hello. How do you do, sir? Thanks, partner. Hey, friend. What are you doing? I it's all good. Come you ask for this, friend. All right, all right. This is nothing to do oh, with me. Get a hold of yourself. Your days are over, you Please son of a bitch. There, I wouldn't pull him out of an early grave. No, sir. I am. Uh, how do you do? I think this is everything. Thanks. So here. here we are. Take that for yourself, okay? Okay, there. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for any goddamn help. We had enough of your foolishness yeah. already here. Things, eh? Gonna need all your money, my friend. Or you got a big problem. Whoa, now. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Look, you, just leave me. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. You know they're saying Valentine's So, first. you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. 
I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Well, you sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just... Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Ah! Go, go, go! Ah! Damn it! Get moved! We showed those bastards, huh? Arthur, what the hell?
So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, don't you go upset and Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Not so fast, Arthur. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. Yeah. Sadler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. All right. Hello, Arthur. I should get my beauty sleep. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. Of course, you've all heard about this. Every place has one of those, but my mother's version was a little different. Along with farmyard animals, her version also ate little boys who misbehaved. <laughs> hey, Arthur.